Hey guys, Kev here, and I'm very excited. So I just got this mat in from Lancelot Leather. Um, fantastic work on this. Um, I'm just blown away by the quality of it. Um, I unboxed it last night on the On the Edge podcast or live stream, which was fantastic. Um, yeah, I really just want to give a big thank you to Lancelot Leather. Um, if it wasn't for him being proactive and reaching out to me when I commented or I posted saying I needed a disassembly mat and him saying, hey man, why don't you try leather? <laughs> um, you know, I wouldn't have this and it's just so exciting because I was just going to buy one that was maybe leather or rubber that had a couple compartments, but this is custom made for me, guys. I mean, he even included a coaster with the channel name on it, a mouse pad, like incredible, even threw in a keychain, uh, three of them actually, so I'll be sending one each to uh, Kyle and Jake, I already got my keys set up on this, um, just so exciting, and um, I'm just really happy with it, and I wanted to do my first disassembly, and I do want to note that I, I tr when I gave him the dimensions, what I wanted was to have it where the f outside of this would basically cover the full screen. Now, I'd have to lower my camera a little bit to get that to work, and I could, and I probably will at some point mess with that. Um, and then I wanted it where when I zoom in, it goes to that center logo. Um, now, it didn't quite work perfectly because I have to shift the mat to do it, which... I think that's fine. I don't mind doing that, but there's probably going to be times where I either just leave it like this, um, or I, you know, leave it down like this where it's centered. And then, you know, you can still see the logo. It's not a big deal. It's not about that really. Um, I just thought it'd be cool to have it there. And of course I asked him to include a coaster, um, so I can fit my LaCroix in there. I know that Kyle, uh, D2M Knives and Gear has already commissioned his own version of this, so I think he's going to get the same exact one, because um, between Lancelot Leather and myself, we kind of came up with this design, um, which I think is perfect, because you have these slots on the side for like a blade and scales, right, or anything larger, and then you have these four compartments up here for hardware, and then you have the coaster for your LaCroix or your beer. And then this work surface right here with your logo. I mean, it's just perfect. So um, I think we did a good collaboration there. And I'm um, just excited. I mean, look at this stitch work, guys. Um, it's absolutely incredibly well done. Um, I went with blue because that's my channel color. I think uh, Kyle's going to have his done with yellow. It's going to look even better than this. I got these copper corners. I might throw in a little bit of B-roll as they call it. I don't really know how to do that, but we'll see. I might just do an overview of it. But um, yeah, I'm just blown away with it, as you can tell. And I want to get the first disassembly done. This here is the Kaiser Duke. So um, I actually bought a trm adam i traded for this adam with somebody on knife swap um i believe he has a youtube channel the modern neanderthal i believe um and in the trade he just threw this in i didn't even know it was coming it was just in the box with it i unboxed it on the live stream as well um and one last night i unboxed last night was the orion solaris which um Really grateful to David for sending this one out to me. Um, so I will be doing some content with that because I have scales coming for it. Um, but anyway, he threw this Dukes in with the Atom and we gave it away. So we we did the number thing to do a giveaway last night. And uh, that's why I don't like doing the number thing because you can have mishaps. Um Somebody had guessed it correctly, but Kyle had already announced the winner. So, you know, the little, the sheepdog was going to, or the mini sheepdog was going to one of them. And I just offered this up on the spot. Hey, it's another Kaiser and I just got it. I, I'm not, 
it's not my style. Um, it's, it's right hand only. It has this pocket pecker, but I'm sure somebody will love it. Um, so this is going to either Casey, uh, from Knives Fast, or it's going to, um, Chris, who just a really good dude on Instagram who, uh, has loaned us some knives. If you saw those Shiro's on my channel, that was from Chris. So I'm just going to clean this guy up because there is some kind of grit, like right here. I don't know if you can hear it. It's pretty rough. There's like a clickety sound to it. And it almost feels assisted. So this detent must be really good or there's something going on in there. So we'll find out. And if I happen to destroy it or something, um, well, I'll just get another knife to give away, you know? No big deal. Um, so we have a captured pivot, actually, which is nice. Have my Brian Brown, bougie driver. And guys, I'll have to work on the lighting with this. Um... We'll see how it goes. I know you're going to probably see some light reflection just because it's leather. Um, it's going to have that shine to it. Um, but I'm okay with that just because of the rest of it, right? So look, I took the pivot out. And I'm going to slide it up here. Ha ha. I can do that. That is cool. All right. So excited. All right. We're looking at T6 for the rest of this guy. Which you guys know, I think, is bullshit. T6. What's this? T6. Okay. Uh, here's my Scout Leather Co. Bit driver. Pop it in there. So I'm going to come at it from this side and see how it goes. Alright, so how, how should I do this, guys? How should I break up the hardware, right? So you have... So let's just do this, right? From now on in my head, anyway. Show side over here with these two. Show side. And then clip side with these two and over here. That kind of makes sense, right? So this is from the show side. So that'll go up here. And that was at the bottom there of the scale. Oh, wrong, wrong driver. So we'll see, depending on how many screws you end up with, you know, these are both body screws. They are the same length, so they can just go together up there. Um, and that came right off. Nice. Then you have this kind of scale underneath, which, you know, I hate that kind of stuff, but you got to do what you got to do when you get G10. And this does have this like Anso pattern on it, sort of, is how I would describe it. Um, I want to see if this is being held in by anything else but pressure. I'll try to grab something to leverage it. There we go. These are really handy, guys. I bought a set of these at a auto parts store. Um, so I could take off my stereo kind of thing because I was installing... I was installing like a new card or some shit into my F-150 to so Apple CarPlay would work. Um, which is super easy, by the way. If you have a 2016 F-150 and you want Apple CarPlay. Um, but, yeah, so I did that. And um, then I had these left over. And they're actually really good because you can't scratch stuff with them, you know. Alright, so we have these... Uh, five millimeters looks like they're not the best bearings and guys this is a giveaway knife so maybe maybe i will hook up the this person whoever it is and give them some uh skiffs you know we'll see if it even works but those bearings they really look like shit they're like super plasticky and not very cut well. They don't feel very smooth. That might have been what that grit was, to be honest. This thing is dry as hell. This thing is drier than Tennessee in 1918. You know what I'm saying? That made no sense, but whatever. Yeah, I have no idea what this knife has been through. It almost looks like rust. Uh, I'm not sure, though. 
I don't actually see any rust. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and add some EDCI to this pup. Kinda let it hang out here a little bit. Stuff is great, by the way. Kind of stopped using those uh, gun cleaning cloths because, um, I don't know, I just feel like they, these little fuzzies come off and it just, I don't know. By the way, you can probably hear in my voice, I'm a little bit under the weather. Just got hit with something. It's like a little bit of a throat issue. It's not really sore. It just feels weird and kind of gives me a little nasal drip. But otherwise, I'm perfectly fine. Like, no fever or anything. No COVID symptoms, at least yet. Um, so, I don't know, but it's been a couple days already. And it's, I think it might just be allergy season coming up. Um, you know, the weather switched pretty fast from, like, 30s to, like, literally 80 degrees the other day. And I was out in short sleeves. And maybe I just went overboard. Although my wife had the same thing and my kids kind of got something, so I don't know. But it doesn't seem to be the sea dog, the sea virus, if you know what I'm saying. Which about a year ago uh, scared the living shit out of me and everybody else I know. Um, and now it's just like a part of life, you know. It's so weird how things go that way. It looks weird, right? I don't think it's scratched or anything. So my concern with these bearings is they're very thin. And the... <clears throat> these are Gillian's I just got in. Uh, I'm going to hang on to those. <laughs> Um, and I do have a bag of just good, like, stock bearings. I might just use those. Um, not trying to be a dick, but I don't know why it'd be a dick for giving somebody better bearings, but although they did have those, like, plasticky ones, so hang on. Maybe I'll just replace them with better plasticky ones. <laughs> Do these fit? Yeah, they should fit. I'll try these first and see what happens. <clears throat> All right. So, pivot. Did the pivot pop out? It did, right? The pivot was in... The clip side, which is weird. You'd think it would be on the show side. But that's how it was. I don't really want to mess with it. Unless I'm crazy. And it is D-shaped, so hang on. Yeah, there's a D-shape there and there, so it wouldn't matter. Oh, no, no D-shape here. So, I think it does need to go through this side. Pretty sure, anyway. That's my theory. Get the KP schnizzles out. I do have fresh bottles on the way from KPL. I reached out and just asked. I was like, hey, man, I, I use your stuff a lot in my videos, and um, they're not empty or anything, but the labels have rubbed off, so, like, I'd be happy to be showing your logo if I already talk about your stuff. Like, So, if you feel like sending me some fresh bottles, and he did. I was like, okay, cool. Which reminds me, guys, I like KPL a lot, so... Check it out. There's a link in the description and a 10% off code there. 
if you are interested in getting some of their products. Um, I really do enjoy their stuff. Obviously, that's why I'm talking about it. Um, yeah. We get the heavy for the detent ball track. And again, I apologize, guys. Little under the weather. So I'm not like my, my usual super duper, um, you know, enthusiastic self. <laughs> Sure, you guys are used to that. Idiot. You idiot, Kev. All right. Um, ba -da -ba 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 -ba, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Hey, guys, let me know in the comments what do you think of this mat. Um, I'm so stoked. I just think it's so cool that I have it, you know. I'm not sure if, like, lighting-wise and all that stuff, it's the best thing, but um, I'm sure I can make it better. I'll see how this looks when I'm done today, but it looks decent, you know. Is this going to pop on, or what's going on here? Turn a little bit, is that what it is? Yeah. I think we're in there. All right. It's going to go right for the pivot screw. I'm not going to Loctite it because I didn't see any. So I'm not going to assume that it needs it. It's going to put one of these in and then check, see how everything is. <laughs> Obviously, with new bearings and stuff, it can uh, be a whole thing. You guys know, watching this channel. <laughs> Centering is good. That's good. No blade play. Still has that click clack, so that must just be the the knife has some kind of clickety clack to it. Let me just see what I can do with the action. Yeah, I really cranked it down. I mean, it's not bad, that's for sure. All right, so and I'll include the stock bearings. Um, I am kind of wondering now if I put like caged ones in there. If they, if it would have been better, um, centering is good. No play. Let's see how if I can loosen it up at all. A little bit of play. Yeah. nothing yeah i mean it's definitely better than it was so a couple of shakes down and it's home um I'm sure whoever owns this now is could throw in skips if they want to um i don't know i just don't see the point it's like a 50 dollar knife or something um and i'm not sure if this person even would want that or whatever um so I'll throw these bearings, obviously, in the package with it, um, and they can use these. I believe those bearings I put in were from the um, Vero <laughs> Synapse Gen 2, maybe. Um, he, he likes to use those nylon uh, bearing cages because you can run them dry. Um, obviously, I don't do that, but um, some people like to. Yeah, the pivot seems captured. It seems well done. Um, doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. So centering, we are dead nuts, people. Um, so yeah, that is the uh, Kaiser Dukes. And that was the first disassembly on the new mat, guys. 
Um, just absolutely love it. That one wasn't very complicated, so I didn't, you know, have to scatter parts everywhere. But you guys noticed that nothing, nothing was rolling off the table. Um, nothing was like getting lost. I didn't have to go hunt anything down. Excuse me. Um, and it was just basically a simple um, disassembly and reassembly. And that's why I wanted this. Just fantastic. Can hold my drink while I work. Um, and yeah, it's just really, really fucking cool. And I am so excited that I got it. So um, that's a quick look at the new mat. You'll be seeing it every disassembly first impressions video. Um, and I'll probably be raving about it for a while because I love it. Um, so another big thank you to Lancelot Leather for putting this together for me. Um, if you guys need any work done, uh, definitely go check them out at Lancelot Leather on Instagram. Here's his logo. Super cool logo. Um, just a great dude to work with. He's very straightforward and honest. He'll tell you what you need. Um, you know, he'll, he'll walk you in the right direction if you don't know what you want. And if you do, he'll just take care of it for you. Um, so really, really big, uh, thank you to again, Lancelot Leather and, um, either Casey or Chris, this guy is good to go now, uh, ready to come to its new home. I'm actually really liking it. This detent is dialed in. Um, it does have that weird, like I said, like springy sound right here that must be the detent ball passing onto the blade or something um but it does not hinder the action i mean it's very smooth and drop shut now that i did what i did um so uh as john in the comments would say you got the lefty edc spa treatment <laughs> um and i'll get this out to you with some stickers and stuff um and yeah i just i appreciate everybody's support um we're closing in on a thousand subscribers i have a really cool giveaway coming up for that um finch knives asher knife co vero engineering have all chipped in um i'm gonna see if i can get any other stuff in i'll probably throw something in myself and um just appreciate all of the support the outpouring of just love and and support has been amazing for this channel the last four months since i started which is crazy to me it's only been four months but um anyway i'm not trying to get ahead of myself here with some kind of speech um i just really really love you guys i hope you have a fantastic day and i We'll catch you later.